your school gave you an email account when you were a kid, now you're graduating and you need to move to another account. This tutorial shows you how to transfer your files and emails to a personal Gmail account. To do this, you need two Google accounts. The source account is your school account. The destination account will be your personal Gmail account. Our goal is to copy all of your files and emails from the source account to your destination account. To do this, you need to log into your Chromebook or Chrome browser using your school account. You know what account you're using by clicking on the circle in the upper right hand corner. From there, you can find your email address. Now visit takeout.google.com slash transfer. The slash transfer is important. The transfer part of the address takes you to a newer version of the site that is a lot more convenient. The transfer tool needs to know your destination address. This will be your personal non-school email address. In the enter an email address box, type in your personal email address, then click the send code button. Now Google needs to verify you own this email address. You can verify this by opening the email that was just sent. You can check your personal email from another computer or your mobile phone, or you can log on to your personal Gmail account on your Chromebook. To log on to your personal Gmail account, return to the Gmail tab and click on the circle in the upper right hand corner. Then click on the Manage Accounts button. Next, click on Manage Accounts on this device. To add your personal account, click the Add Account button. Sign in to your personal Gmail account and click the Next button. Then enter your password. Now both of these accounts will be available on this device. You can close this window. From the available accounts, select your personal account. In your personal account, you will find an email with the title Verify Your Account. You will need to respond to this email within 24 hours of receiving it. Click the blue Get Confirmation Code button. This will open a new browser tab with an 8 character confirmation code. You will need to enter this code into the transfer utility. Highlight the code and right click. On a Chromebook, double tapping on the trackpad is the same as right clicking. Then select copy from the menu. You can also press Ctrl C on your keyboard to copy. Remember you can get this code by logging into another computer or by checking the email on your phone. Return to the transfer tab and paste the code into the enter code field. You can double tap or Ctrl V to paste. Then press the verify button to continue. Now we have verified you own this personal account. Next, we need to select what kind of files to copy. By default, Drive and emails are both included. You could use the toggle buttons to exclude the files or the emails. Then click the Start Transfer button to finish. Once you see the You're All Set message, you know the files are on the way. The tool suggests the transfer could take up to a week, but that's only true if you have a ton of files. Typically, it's done in a few minutes. You can safely close this now all the files are transferred behind the scenes. In your personal Gmail account, you will see a confirmation email telling you the files are on the way. After the transfer is complete, you will receive another email that reads your content has arrived. That's how you know it's done. Once the transfer is finished, you will find a label in your personal Gmail that matches your school email account. All of your emails will be organized with that label. On your personal Google Drive account, you will find a folder that's named for your school email account. In that folder, you will find all the Google Drive files from your school account. Your personal Google account is the owner of these files. These files are not shared with anyone else. Everything you own or have edit rights to will be copied over. Also note, all of the files and emails are still in your school account. This just created a copy in your personal account. There you go. This was a step-by-step -step tutorial showing how to transfer your school files and emails to a personal account. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.